just can't sleep. Um, my nerves is messing with me. I'm thinking about details of the game. All the little things that we need to do as a team to win. When we first started, our intentions was not to play. We go over there, we get fights, we start trouble, and we was losing. We sucked. And we wanted to get away from that. We did that our whole life. Leaving this neighborhood, we left drugs, we left the violent part. It was a big escape for us. We had to learn. Yo, guys, let's take this football shit serious. Let's go practice. We better than dudes. Let's just apply it. We got to make ourselves better. What I got to do to get better? Yes, I need to get healthy. I need to run. I need to get my win. Guys took the game serious. Guys studied the game. Guys went to other people's games just to see what they was missing. Then Pam's go away. When I got incarcerated from 2009 to 12, my team got incarcerated with me, man. Me being selfish and doing things that I regret doing, I'll never let my team suffer again because of me. Never. I committed murder at 14 years old, went to jail. They held me till I was 21. So the love I got for this game is deeper than just growing up loving the game. If you look this way, Pams, you're gonna fall. Stay here, this is your life. This is what you was here for. We pitch you through all of that so you can guide this shit and get it somewhere. Selling drugs, violent, to no parents, no grandparents, nobody. Carver is not just a team that plays football, Carver's a family. What the hell, bro? What the hell, bro? These became my brothers because of football, and I love them like my blood. And once people understand it's just not football with us, then you will get where we coming from. It's so much fun being in that field. And I don't even play. Just to see everybody else have opportunity and have fun doing what they love and doing it in a place that's positive instead of on the streets. And as long as I can provide that, I'm gonna keep on, I ain't gonna stop. <laughs>